here with us is Professor Rick Krieber from Monash University, Australia, and he has been one of the speakers at the Executive Seminar and Conference on Taxation and Developing Countries here at the European University Institute, the, the Global Governance Programme. I have a couple of questions for Professor Krieber, and those questions are uh, pretty much related to the interesting point that he has made during his presentation, and which is the outcome of a very uh, a, a long and, and detailed research on tax treaties of developing countries in Africa and Asia. And uh, Rick, uh, based on the research that you have carried out, uh, we have noticed that there are a number of differences in tax treaties of developing countries but my, questions, my question for you would be, um, to the extent that uh, a tax treaty of a developing country deviates from the OECD and the UN Model Tax Convention, uh, do you think that at present there is some kind of awareness of, is there a dialogue or, or an awareness of the type of clauses of tax treaties beyond the models? Could uh, this be an issue to raise for the purpose of enhancing the tax treaty policy of developing countries? What would be your view on this? Uh, it, it, it raises a really, really nice point. The developed countries have a lot of dialogue between themselves. They have a lot of experience. Their negotiators know each other and they've been doing this for a long time and they're aware of all the alternatives and, and they're aware of the consequences of those alternatives. That expertise just isn't available in, in lesser developed countries. The experience isn't available. And more importantly, the personal exchanges and the dialogues between the, between the parties isn't there. So, so there just isn't the, the availability and the, the ability to pick up and learn about the alternatives.